Hello everyone. I want to get into a quick, truthful review on a Tracker Ox 400. This is a Tracker off-road brand vehicle. It's new. I think we bought the very first one that was ever sold out of the St. Charles Bass Pro Shop. And we've had some minor issues with it. And we've had some big issues with it. I'm going to try and make this video quick and, and short. But uh, anyway, we got back after 19 months of ownership. We finally got this thing back from the dealer the second time here after five months of waiting for it to be repaired. And the main thing has still not been fixed on it, which it just has a bad axle in the rear end. And you can tell it definitely because it rolls like an egg when you when you take off it. You can just you can feel it. Anyway, some minor things that didn't get done. Still after being up there five months. This was restressed to him about roof bolts they put in his thing that was left out of it when when I got it the first time. So we uh, they're still in there, still ain't been fixed. I don't know if they didn't put them in there or I know someone we got at home up there that the roof was flapping pretty bad. So I didn't do anything with it because I didn't want to avoid no warranty. But I mean, I could have done that here and saved myself a trip up there for that. But anyway. The main issue we took it up for was for, for this rear end. Uh, the first time we took it in, the rear end had the... Uh, I complained about the rear end having a, a bad axle in it. And they got underneath it and noticed that the right rear, where the brake cable hooked up at, had come undone and had rent the inside tire by rubbing it. Which I'm glad they caught that. But uh, they got it re-secured now and it's been fine so far. But uh, that was the first time to go around. They had it for four months then. <clears throat> this time they've had it for five months. And when I got it back this time, I had to take my mother with me because she can't stay at home by herself. Uh, she has some heart issues and she swells up a long time. So two hour ride up there and two hour ride home left her sitting up for four hours with uh, bad heart issues that don't work well for her and she swells up in her feet and people who have that know what I'm talking about but anyway this is what I got back this time I went for and picked this wheel this uh, ox up and uh, the gentleman was nice enough to load it up for me when I got there so because I told him I was in a hurry I had to get home my mom had been sitting up too long but this is how I got it back this was originally the left rear tire as you can see there LR with a big white dot Weight on the outside has a single huge weight on the inside. Mind you now, this is a small, small wheel and tire. Back here on the back, on this left, on this uh, left rear side, you'll notice I highlighted one of the studs with a black magic marker, permanent marker, so that way I knew where to put that dot back at. Now that indicates to me they that's where the warpness was in the axle so they put all that counterweight on there to try and eliminate that issue but anyway i could still feel it when i got home and unloaded it so i jacked it up and i took the tires off the front put them on the back and put the back on the front you know what i did switched it around well this was the left rear tire it has counter differences it has three big weights on the inside one one big weight on the outside and this tire here is as you can see designated as the right rear with the same white dot so i highlighted the stud on the right rear that way i didn't get them right back in the same spot anyway the main issue is the issue still persists this is an honest review of an ox 400 we've owned this thing like i said for 19 months first one ever bought out of the St. Charles store, and the work's been done there at Earth City through Bass Pro Shops Warranty Division through, I guess, the gentleman's name there is Steve, the main manager of the repair warranty division. But uh, I just think five months is too long when I get a, the work order released to me and sign off on it, and for a half hour per tire or one hour total labor time, this thing sat there for five months. Six weeks... After we dropped it off, I called up and asked about it. And Steve informed me that he had just sent in a uh, video of a wheel rollout because warranty division requested a wheel rollout. So this past weekend, 
or last week I got a hold of, uh, I actually checked online and got, uh, uh, searched the web and found they had, a uh, some, uh, warranty issues and, and recall issues with, with some Textron vehicles. So I found this guy, it was, uh, J Cook 03 and I sent him some pictures of these wheels and asked him if he could lead me in the right direction to get a hold of somebody to find out what's going on i i live by one of the biggest rv parks in the state of missouri st joe state park i've been riding three wheelers and four wheelers my whole life and i've never seen weights like that put on small wheels and actually i've never seen weights put on them small wheels at all but anyway needless to say i uh got a hold of him he forwarded information down to the textron warranty bigwig and he called me from georgia and asked me who all done this. So I told him it was Bass Pro Shops Warranty Division at a shop at Earth City, Missouri. And he asked me if there's anybody closer to me, and there's not down here where I live at, down this next to the woods. So every time I go up there, it's a four hour ride round trip because I don't drive 75 or 80. I just mope along at 55, 60 mile an hour. So, and then when you hit traffic, it takes a little longer up there in the big city. But anyway, long story short, I hope Textron. I'm waiting to hear back from Textron. They seemed like they was really curious to the realm of vacation and the understanding of the added weights to the wheels. But the problems still exist. Uh, I took them wheels off and uh, changed them around, and you can still drive it, and the problems still exist. It's still there. It still has the bad axle, so I'm ready to send this thing back. Uh, Jennifer Polley sent me a deal, told me I, you know, I she's heard I got my machine back, and she wanted to make sure I really enjoyed it, but I've called her several times and sent her another email and asked her if she would like to have her new vehicle with a quarter of the wheel with weights on it. But I've not heard back from Miss Poli. I've not heard back from Steve over at uh, Earth City at the warranty division. And then uh, I finally got a hold of somebody down there. Uh, uh, it was an associate assistant with uh, Mr. Wayne Stokes that handles the uh, Springfield Boat Division claims or Big Wig or, I don't know, she was an assistant to, to him. Uh, Wayne Stokes is a uh, one of the big guys down there in Springfield, but I've not heard back from anybody. So I'm starting to have my doubts about how Bass Pro really cares about their customers or not care. But I know these are little, little small issues, but simple things to where you don't have to, you, I mean, I don't know if anybody else has to, but I got to mess with this bed when you lift it up and down because it's not balanced right, it's not timed right, the settings are off, things need to be shimmed to where you make it to where you, you don't have to slam it or, um, it shouldn't be that way, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, I, I just, uh, in the back here, that's from my lift gate on my trailer rubbing the back of it these bottom pins here they're all blowed out with a big gap gap in them uh, barely sitting on the guide pins as you can see both of them's like that and i mean about the only thing i hauled in this thing was a was a uh, deer one deer i used it last year and i dropped it off up there in november and just got it back so end of november december january february march and here we are so now it's the first of april anyway that's the deal with it this is an honest review of the tracker off-road i'll post more videos and, and keep you all in mind i hope to hear back from textron was going to try and find out what the information was and all that and i'm going to get a review to find out why it took five months to get two wheels mounted supposedly but the bigger question is why did they not fix the issue? Why are they not addressing the issue of the rear axle? And again, I'll let anybody drive it that wants to. You can feel it. It's not no joke. And we need to uh, stay on them. I mean, it's not the most expensive item Bass Pro Shop sells. I understand that. But it's still an item that's a high, uh, high-priced item for me to buy for my wife to ride around down to Lake Lot. This thing doesn't get abused. It drives on gravel roads. It drives in the little sand dunes down there at Mine Lamont Recreation Area where we're a Lake Lot member at. And uh, it rides around on gravel ridge roads uh, where I hunt at. And that's about it. 
I don't do any rough road four wheeling or anything like that. We use it around here in the yard sometimes for minor leaf pickup and limb pickup and stuff like that. Anyway, I just wanted to give everybody a, a honest review of it. That's my opinion. I'll keep you all informed as soon as I hear back from, uh, if I hear back from Bass Pro Shop, Miss Polite, Jennifer Polite at uh, Bass Pro Shop there in St. Charles. Or if I hear back from Steve, the manager at the warranty division, Earth City. Or if I hear back from Textron, the gentleman from down there in Georgia. Or if I hear back from Wayne Stokes or his assistants out of Springfield, I will do another video and let you know what they all have to say. And uh, in my next video, I'll include the paperwork on it that shows what little bit of time they spent with this for having it for nine months in a, uh, in a repair shop. Anyway, I hope you all have better luck than I do. Uh, I don't think it's a bad mark towards, towards Textron. I hope. I haven't had, I really haven't got to talk to them until this past week. And uh, I look forward to hearing back from them. The gentleman seemed like he was going to be quite shrewd about the deal and find out what the, hill, what the deal was with uh, all the weights on the wheels because he's never seen stuff like that. I mean, he, he promptly called me the same day that I sent Jay Cook 03. Uh, the text message from the uh, recall I found on the internet. So they was quite quite on it, but I thought I heard something back from him. He was kind of spunky about it, but maybe I'll hear back next week and I'll do another video on it. You all know what he says. Anyway, I wish you all luck uh, with my experience with this, with this product being uh, where I got it at and where I purchased it at and where the warranty division's at. I would highly suggest the product is probably a really good product just a bad personal uh relationships and uh customer service through earth city uh warranty division and uh really not too good of the outlook there that bass pros represent now st charles uh if you got a problem with a product like this you should fix it instead of trying to hide it and cover it up and i think that's what they're trying to do for some reason they're not going to do that uh and i'm going to get to the bottom of it or i'm going to send it back to bass pro and that's my main intention to begin with when uh, and when uh, Elizabeth or Lizzie, as I called and talked to on the phone, told me to uh, take it back. So I told her I was going to take it back. And then uh, they ended up talking me into giving them one more try. And this is a result of the one more try. Uh, a ton of weight on the front end or what was really originally on the back end to hide the uh, warpness in the axle. And uh, roof bolts still missing out of the top of the roof with the rig bolts they put in it. So I'm eager to hear back from Mr. Wayne Stokes.